For two months, Koichi Sei played music in his Tokyo bar, with no one to listen to it. The bar was closed, not because of any official order, just government advice, and he says, duty to his customers. It's a gamble. Ne, we don't know, we, we are not sure, so we cannot gamble our life. Driven by social responsibility instead of harsh penalties, so far Japan seems to have dodged the worst of the pandemic. Even with a population three times Canada's, the death toll is less than an eighth, fewer than a thousand. This despite delayed border closings, limited testing and no lockdown. Unlike Westerners, we're used to wearing masks, says Kawai Ryukin. Avoid the three C's, says Tetsu Shinyu. No closed spaces, no crowds, and no close contact. And you don't have to worry. No more fear of visiting reopened attractions, like Tokyo's observation tower, or going out to stores and restaurants, where it's almost business as usual. Indeed, the Prime Minister's main fear now is that Japan won't reopen quickly enough. We need to control infections with as few restrictions as possible, says Shinzo Abe, to protect our livelihoods. Since Japan realizes it can't kill the virus, it's decided to focus on containing it. So from the beginning, we have the sort of an understanding that we are living with coronavirus. Another key element is targeted contact tracing instead of mass testing through some 800 local health centers across the country. Meanwhile, in Japan's stadiums, cheerleaders lead empty stands and players play only for the cameras. It's the picture of living with the pandemic. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.